What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4 Old World Blues. I don't know what the name of this series is going to be, but uh, for now we're calling it Hearts of Iron 4 Old World Blues. Um, I just want to start off the video by saying if you like this kind of video and you want me to make more, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps out a crap ton. So that being said, let's get into it. So, I'm also going to turn on the music for this, by the way. I didn't, I'm not recording this directly after um, I recorded the first episode, but... It's on the same day, so I still know about what's going on. So we're still on speed five. We're still kind of preparing. Okay, we finished researching radio, which is good. Let me go ahead and start my stopwatch so I can keep track of how long I am uh, st uh, recording for, not streaming. Um, and I think we don't really need the radio detection right now. I think we're going to just go with the research time. I think that's going to be the most help for, helpful for us right now. Okay. I love this music. I'm just... <laughs> I really love this music. Also, by the way, I did get a mod which which changes the veterancy icons for these things. It's pretty cool. So we can kind of change that. We can look at it. Acclimatization. Oh, look at that. Hot acclimatization. Um, so, oh, sweet. So heat attrition, instead of taking 10%, we only take 5%. And the organization regain is only reduced by 2.5%. Look at this. Hold on. Stop. Give me the other one. Okay, supply consumption goes down by half. Okay. Instead of getting increased by 50%, it only gets increased by 25%. And division attack only gets reduced by 5%, so 10%. Hot acclimatization uh, gained when it's extremely hot. Okay. Oh, that was an accident. I didn't mean to make him go there. Hold. Okay. What is this? Unable to... Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Just, like, move... like. Right click here. There we go. All right, there we go. Now they're gonna, <laughs> they've got to regain all their organization. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> all right, so we are supplying this guy with equipment, but not very much because reinforcements kind of come first. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that on high priority. We also do have enough political power for an advisor, but I'm not gonna change that yet. I can't change it to partial mobilization because we need uh, more than 30% world tension, and that's not there yet. We're at 24%. And we're still trying to get the Securitron Vault, right? Um, let's go ahead and get the next land doctrine. Okay, so we've got mobile warfare. We're going to... This is actually not even going to af affect us at all. Infantry? Yeah, just infantry and militia. Uh, so, yeah, we, we can't really do that. Um, however, oh no. No, I was going to say if we had 15 factories producing Securitrons, then we could perhaps uh, produce infantry equipment as well, but it's just not going to happen. We just don't have enough. And also, our manpower. What the frick? We need. We actually do need to increase this. We need to increase the... Um, the to limited conscription. All right, boom. And that's going to give us... What did that just... Hold on. Oh, that's right. Manpower doesn't change automatically anymore, does it? Okay, because... Let me see. Um, okay, so we've got to mobilize it. So because of that, it's going to take some time for us to actually grow up to the amount. We're going to grow up. We're grow We're all... Look at this, guys. We're all grown up. <laughs> okay. Uh, we can research some armor. Okay. That's not going to affect our current troops, but when we finally get infantry, that will help. Also, when we get, when we get melee weapons, these are going to be really, really powerful, but... Uh, that's it's not going to be as powerful as the firearms and we are going to go with regular firearms okay because um wait hold on hold on oh we got the securitron vault uh let's send in a task force shall we boom full assault spare nothing lose 1500 uh, manpower but so we we do that we get the securitron mark 2 okay very cool so we got no manpower okay but um Let's see. Eligible eligible core population, 5.4% is available. Okay. That's fine. And, uh, yeah, the common energy weapons, let me see. We need... Do we need any, like, advanced technology for these? Because there's, like, advanced electronics. I guess we just need this. I guess we could just go with the steel, the firearms. I think it's steel, right? My army is ready. Now it's time for true progress. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. But first, I'm going to go with New World Order. Wait, should I do that? Or perhaps perhaps I should set up the Ultralux. 
Or perhaps Gamora has more arms workshops. Oh yeah, that's more arms workshops. But, uh, what should I do here? And we're also going to, we're also going to abandon cannibalism. Um, let me see, war support increases mobilization speed, so that would be good. I'm going to go to the Ultralux. And this gives us more time to get more Securitrons. So, and then also, uh, I believe, isn't this supposed to spawn a bunch of divisions? It didn't. It didn't say that it did, but yes, it gave us. It gave us ten new divisions. So that's awesome. Okay, Securitron Mark Two is complete, and now we can switch. Instead, we want to produce Mark Two instead of Mark One. Okay, and then um, so upgrading it is probably going to be. Uh, not of primary priority. Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> we didn't increase our industry when possible. Um, okay, what do we need? Oh, crap, what are we doing here? Can we promote this guy? Can we, like, add another... We can't add another trait to him. Okay, that kind of sucks. So, that's fine. But then what we need to do is we need to delete this armor. Or delete this, uh, let me see. Oh, what? Hold on, force attack. Following effects to armies for seven days, we get offense, breakthrough, organization damage taken. Wow, what? No organization damage taken? Um, strength damage taken, plus, oh, 60%. Maybe, that, I don't, that doesn't look like plus 60. Is it just mitigated effect? I don't know. Uh, war support reduction on damage on damage is 20%. Okay, cannot retreat while attacking. Okay, and then last stand is more defense. Okay, boom. So more defense, basically, more entrenchment. And staff office plan. Oh, that's really good. So it's just for seven days, you get four times the planning speed. I think what we're going to do is we're going to assign this to the war or the army groups thing. So stop that. And then, all right. Do your job, dude. There we go. And then, offensive line. There's no... Okay, that's a spearhead. Front line. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. Lines can be painted only on territory you have assigned a front line or naval invasion to. Why did the icon change? It used to be just this thing, but now there's like a... Two... Two... Right arrows. Oh, you could... Ch oh, look at that. Very cool. All right. Balanced is balanced is cool. We don't need carefully. We don't need aggressively. Just balanced is fine. And let's form an offensive line right here. Okay. Gonna do that. Why do we only have seven divisions on that? Caesar's Legion took two steps. Okay, so they annexed Cowboy Country. All right. I like... They did update some of these icons. Look at this execute icon. We also have an inferior enemy. enemy. Very inferior enemy. Guys, this is going to culminate into a very, very crazy war if they are able to actually do the thing. If they're able to do the thing. What? Whoa, what is this Sint Attaché? Sint Attaché will result in higher military cooperation and give us benefits in developing our strength. 50 command power to maintain the Attaché and costs 100 political power to send it. Okay. We got woodworking. They declared war on the rapids. Where are the where are the rapids? Hold on. Uh, where are the rapids? Oh, here. Okay, so they're trying to annex the rapids. That's fine. Okay. Well, I mean, it's not like super fine, but it's all right. Um, so we want like really like really a lot of factory output. So even though we're a little bit ahead of time on this, I'm just going to still research that. Okay. This music, man. I like this music is gonna is gonna be really awesome when we get into actual Fallout New Vegas and we're actually able to do like just explore this area, right? How south? How far south can we go? I think maybe some to the Long Fifteen or something. Do they have Big Mountain on this map? I don't think they do. But where's Big Mountain? They probably don't even have it. But the Long the Long Fifteen. I no, I don't think that's. I think in Lonesome Road, I think you go here, but I don't know. I could be wrong. I have no idea. You go somewhere like this direction, and you go you go west, right? Um, 
Okay, so we've got low manpower. It's got it. We've got to be able to mo mobilize. Um, world tension. So basically, okay. So when world tension rises, we have the ability to uh, mobilize quicker, mobilize our manpower quicker. It's not instantaneous. So we gotta actually make. We gotta be careful. Okay. So ultra ultra lux, right? We got the ultra lux there. We've got. Um, we're gonna get the white glove society, and then we're gonna focus on new world order. Okay. I think we're gonna do that because this this allows us to gain more political power, which is very useful. Um, it is gonna cost you know a hundred. And 50 political power to actually do, but that's okay. I mean, okay. Now we have 100, 150 political power. There we go. So, and how much does how much command power does this cost? Start staff office plan. Okay, that's fine. Does it? Wait, why are these templates different? Mark two Securitron division. It's the same, guys. These are the same. Why are they classified as different divisions? Can I just, like, change them all to this? No additional equipment needed. Just changes the thing. But it just, it reduces them to just train, which is level 2 instead of regular. All right, that's fine. Uh, let's see the logistics. Okay, we still got a very, very huge shortage. It's going to be insanely huge. Okay. Um, we're producing it. Oh, we're, oh, crap. We're short on fuel. We need to definitely sacrifice a factory for that. It's all right to, to sacrifice a factory for fuel. So that we can actually produce these faster. Boom, that produces, that increases our rate of production. And it's reinforcing. Do we really need to reinforce? I don't, I don't think we do. I think I think instead we're just kind of upgrading these things. Um, let's put upgrades on lowest priority. And instead let's put uh, medium priority on getting more robots here. More of these Securitrons here. Okay. Alright, so... We also have low manpower. I don't know how we're going to reinforce this. This is definitely this is definitely a, a balancing change because it used to just give you instantaneous access to all of that, but now you actually have to wait for it to mobilize, which is kind of crazy. So, let me see. Oh, there's not more than 30% world tension now. It's down to 29, so... Uh, let's see. Country? Looks like Caesar's Legion. Caesar's Legion has generated quite a bit. Quite a bit. New California Republic has gener generated a little bit, right? But let me see. The most was Issaquah Nation, Treaty of Rhombus Island. Okay, and then Sea Salation is on is number three. The Treaty the Treaty of Bonelli's Landing. That's right here, Bonelli's Landing or Bonelli Landing. So we got to be careful about Caesar's Legion. They definitely are somebody that you do not want to mess with. All right, so we've got the White Glove Society. We've also finished Leather Armor. Let's go ahead and go with the New World Order. And then we are going to actually, in the end, get a war goal against the Fiends, which will be really cool. Um, Alright, so can we research these? Not yet. We can we can get the militia training, but we need to, I mean, we need to actually have infantry equipment and stuff before we can actually uh, do anything with that. Okay, and then uh, we got the White Glove Society so we can get Marjorie. Boom. More political power gain. That's the main thing I'm worried about. <laughs> Okay, more political power gain, and then the world tension is still at 29%, but once it reaches 50, or sorry, not 50, 30%, then we can increase to partial mobilization, and that will give us access to even more civilian factories, which we desperately need, because right now we're producing arms factories and everything, and that's fine, but we also need uh, civilian factories so that we can, you know, get more civilian stuff. <laughs> um, and five factories are still working on consumer goods. We can reduce that a little bit, but... You know, the main thing that we're going to be increasing here is the construction speed of the military factories, and we're going to be reducing the reduction of the civilian factory construction speed. Okay, so instead, it's just going to be normal, normal speed for that. And then the only thing to gain after that is just less factories being used for consumer goods, and then also faster construction of military factories. Okay. So, and as you can see, by the way, this game, this this mod is a little bit slower than the base game, all right, because it's it's supposed to take place over over a core of the course of like you know more than ten years, where whereas um, the base game is is set to where you know the first the, a lot of action happens within the first within the first few years, and so you know because of that. Also, the NCR is definitely going to take this. They're going to take this city right here. I'm not even going to try to say that. And Tumble Home is their capital. 
Once they take their capital, they're probably going to surrender. This, well, I don't know. No, this is 20, 20 victory points. I bet you they'll surrender after they lose this city. Chem, oh, maybe I will try to say it. Chem, Chemehwebi. I can't. I just don't say it. All right, so uh, let's see. Computing machine. We, we're still ahead of time there, so we don't really want to do that. Let's just get the radar station. We're also at 28% world tension. It's going down a little bit. I hope it goes up, though. I really want it to go up. <laughs> New California Republic. Oh, we got 30% world tension now. Good. So New California Republic annexed the rapids. Very cool, because we were just watching that war. All right, and then we can increase this to partial mobilization, which is going to give us hopefully more factories. Let's see. Boom. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We got two more factories. Instead of five, it's now three. So we can use more to construct these military factories. And, of course, that will be good because that allows us to produce more of these Securitrons. Or, I guess in our case, we need to import more resources. <laughs> so, we got access to three more, but now we have to we have to use uh, two more for, um, for importing resources. Just so we could produce more. Eventually, this shortage is going to clear up, and then we will be able to, you know, get farther and further along, you know. But... At the moment, we're having some problems, right? We gotta, we, at least I want to get, um, let me see, we can do shift click and then control click. At least I want to get 15 military factories for that, okay? And we are going to get some when we clean up the suburbs, right? We're going to do this. We could secure the north. I'm not going to do that, though. Um, we need to do this. Um, the fiends, okay, boom. And then we're going to gain a war goal versus the fiends, which will allow us to instantly declare war, and we're just going to wipe them out, honestly. This guy, it's inferior enemy plus 80%. So the, um, the, the, the field marshal is like, yeah, definitely we're going to be able to do this, dude. <laughs> right? We're going to be able to do this guy. Wait, why is this suddenly 24 instead of 70? That was 72 a while ago, was it not? Hold on. So let's just make this one now because this guy is... He only needs 11 more, so just make this one, right? And then it'll finish off the thing. It'll finish off the uh, the army. And then we can have another army, perhaps, with heavy robots uh, down the line. But we currently don't have the technology. The technology actually takes a very long time to get. Uh, these are... Are these heavy robots? I think these are medium. What? Are, hold on. This is Mr. Gutsy. Military variant of Mr. Handy, but... It doesn't say what he actually is. I can take a look at it, but... These are... It's just robots. It just doesn't tell me. I know these are heavy robots, right? Okay, maybe since it... Okay. This enables heavy robots. So, because of that, I, I'm led to believe that this these guys are medium robots, and then these guys are light robots, the Protectrons. Alright, ba basic forges. Okay, that's what we gotta do. We gotta get more factory output. Could do traditional instruction. Instead, I'm going to get... Uh, let's see. What can I do this? What can I do over here? Resource gain efficiency probably would be a good option to take. Probably a good idea. We're also getting manpower. Okay, we're getting a little bit more manpower, but it's still very slow. Also, we finished this land doctrine. Okay, let's go ahead and go to elastic defense. And I'm excited. I'm excited to finally start attacking people because... I don't know. It's... It's a little bit scary watching Caesar's Legion, the NCR, just do work, right? They're just doing work, and it's, you know, right, from Sa Shady Sands. Look at these provinces, by the way. They all just, like, revolve around, like, a last stand at Shady Sands. Um, just getting surrounded. Like, it would be really easy to surround that. If you had the divisions, of course. Um, but basically, what I want to do, my plan, is I want to take the Dam Busters right here... And then I also want to take the Great Cons, if that's possible, because they have some resources there that would be very helpful to me. And then I also want to take the Mojave Chapter, obviously, because they have a lot of resources and they've got um, advantageous positions. And then I don't want to annex the entirety of the Mojave Raiders. Instead, what I want to do is I just want to take Good Springs and Nelson. And that way, do you, do you guys see this? Look, look what it'll do. It's creating like a very flat border. Whereas if I just take the Mojave Chapter and then don't take any of the Mojave Raiders, then I'm going to be like very easy to surround if the NCR is able to take all of this, 
Okay, so anyway, we did do the clean the suburbs thing. Um, so I could do that versus the dam busters. I think we're gonna do this uh, uh, for the, let's see. Let's do this for Gamora. Let's get Gamora. Okay, so then we can attack. Okay, let's attack this guy. Attack the fiends, boom. Execute the plan. Guys, let's go, let's go like three speed, boom. Look at this. I wanna see another battle, look. 155 attack, right? We, we're pretty much fully supplied, okay? Our organization is not very high, but uh, it's way more attack, because they're like at, they, they've only got 56% strength. They have like nothing available to them. Very, very few supplies or anything, so we're all right, we're fine. Okay, so we, we actually, hold on, has capitulated giving us access to 50% of their stockpiled equipment. So we got dynamite and we also got melee, basic melee weapons, which is all right. I mean, it's not, it's not amazing, but. Okay, so let's also set a front line on the dam busters because that's going to be our next target, all right? And then, I love this chain of command. We don't really have enough divisions in order to make it like, like really, uh, useful to us, but still, it's it's pretty good so far, I think. Um, let's get... Uh, I don't know what to get right now, because this stuff is still, like, ahead of time and stuff. Perhaps we could get the improved anti-tank? Perhaps we could get some, like, dynamite or something, explosive support. I mean, I don't, even, I don't really know exactly what that adds. I guess more soft attack? Uh, is that... Well, soft attack, not really... Maybe more organization? Is that what it's adding? I'm not I'm not exactly sure, but I guess we can add some dynamite, right? We can we can research that. And what is this? Offensive war. We're no longer in an offensive war. Stop. Stop giving me that malice. Is it gonna like slow Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh, I thought we already won. <laughs> no, we we didn't win, but now we we have won. Okay, so boom. We've got that. We have finished taking them. And we can also set... Okay, what's this next? If I'm at war... Okay, yeah, that war economy is, is not going to be very attainable anytime soon. Um, can we get this army defense? Let's get the army defense. Should we? Maybe we can... Well, we can't do limited exports because we need to be at war. That's, that's kind of a problem. We can't do limited exports unless we're at war. Okay. Ooh, core states. Yeah, core states. I guess. That's that's cool. It's a core states. Um Nero. Okay, this is for the Omeritas. This is for the chairman. So we are gonna need these guys. So we can't hire anybody else, but here, perhaps we could get the Oh, what do we want to do here? Perhaps division attrition? That could be good. Let's get division attrition. Okay, just make him take less attrition. It is, like, really hot, because we're in the desert, right? Um, can I, like... Did this guy level up? Like, can I give him... No? He's got, like, a tiny bit of experience. And this guy is going to be the same. He's got very, very little experience. But that's all right. So we're now... We're trying to get Gamora, but after we do that, we're going to get the Wargle on the Dam Busters. We definitely want this tiny, tiny, tiny border with... Uh, with... Um, Caesar's Legion, because Hoover Dam is very, very important to have. That's, it has so much electricity, fuel, electronics, and advanced technology. It's insanely good to have. And not only that, if we have that border with Caesar's Legion, that is a one province border that we need to defend. That's it. That's all we need to defend is one province. Um, you know, whereas if, if we let them get the Dam Busters, then we need to we need to defend all of these provinces, right? And if they take one province, they're already in the actual state of New Vegas. They haven't actually taken the capital right here, which is probably just the location of the Lucky 38, right? But, you know, um, still, we want to... They're very close to our doorstep if we do that. Whereas if we take the Dam Busters ourselves, then we just have to defend this, and it's not really that bad. Then we can actually work on building forts and stuff there, and it won't be a problem. That's good water. <laughs> okay. All right, so <clears throat> um, this is still ahead of time. I think probably I'm just going to go to the decimetric radar, and then that will help us build radar stations and, like, upgrade the one in New Vegas. Look at this. 
Look at the look at the tooltip, just garbage. Like, oh my goodness, that is insane. All that tooltip nastiness, the unlocalized filth. Um, okay. So, gosh, I hope this I hope this doesn't say like, hey, your video was flagged for using some copyrighted material. <laughs> I hope it does. I hope it doesn't say that because this is just I don't know. I mean, it is real music, right? It's not just game music. It's not just a game soundtrack. So, I mean, game soundtracks are also real music. I can't even believe I said that, but still. Anyway, I'm, I'm trying to make a point here, okay? Also, apparently these are not mutually exclusive. I thought they were. Okay, but, but these are, okay, so we... Hold on, Annex Against Mojave Raiders. Uh, Annex Against Hopevilles? Oh, you can, like, instead of... Oh, that could be interesting. So instead of getting the Mojave chapter and improving the Hidden Valley and everything, instead you're annexing these guys and then annexing Ashton, maybe? Strike... Yeah, Ashton. Strike... 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 <laughs> strike the new. Um, no, we're going to go with Secure Power. We've got to get... Hold on. Oh, it requires Secure the North. Crap. Okay, so we got to actually take Secure the North first. We also have a new division that we can add. Okay, very cool. Let's make a front line here, and let's just assign everybody there. Let's assign everybody to this one. Go. Stop. I mean, no. I mean, go and not stop. What are they... Hold on. Can I unassign these guys? Yeah, army group. Oh, that's really cool. Do you see this? Guys, look. It's assigning, it's it's like allocating them. It's like, that's really cool. So if you have multiple front lines there, then it will like properly allocate the troops. So we're learning about chain of command. That's very cool. Okay. Bone dancers. Okay, I don't really care about bone dancers. I don't even know where they are. <laughs> I know there's a mod. There was a mod that actually expanded the focus tree of the 80s and like made it possible for them to fight made it possible to succeed against Vault City or something like that. I know Vault City has its own um, focus tree. Mutant Supremacy, look at that. Add technology, Mutant Supremacy. Hold on, that's a technology? Hold on. Can I get this in here? Super Mutants, perhaps? There's a Super Mutant Clubs. That's Enclave Power Armor. This is Brotherhood of Steel Power Armor. Oh, that's Raider Power Armor. <laughs> okay. Uh, special energy weapons. Any unique technology here? Here? No, we don't have that. Where's the mutant supremacy? I really want to see that. We've got some unique stuff here. We've also finished researching dynamite. Nothing unique here, which I didn't expect. Which I expected. Uh, nothing unique in the industry, and nothing unique in electronics either. I'm really wondering about that unique super mutant technology. Also... Why? Why does this all go... What the heck? Oh. Oh, it seems to use, like, the same thing. See, water, electricity, metal, fuel. Water, electricity, metal. There's no fuel thing, but... Okay, so we finished uh, with the support thing. We finished with the dynamite. Let's see if we can get... It's a little bit of a habit ahead of time, but I think we can research anti-tank. Stronger anti-tank. Crap, what did I do? What did I just do? I don't even know. What did I stop researching? Something was 50% progress and I just stopped. Well, I, okay. <laughs> okay. Let's research basic firearms. I just probably screwed something up for, for a while, but that's all right. <laughs> okay, so we are now trying to annex the Great Cons. Let's go ahead and make a, an offensive line, all right, because that's important. And it is assigning all 14 divisions to that, so that, that indicates that he feels like he needs to. We do have enough an inferior entity enemy, but perhaps just for you know how wide the front line is, he felt like he needed to uh, assign all 14 divisions to it. Okay, the shortage is getting lower. Okay, we still got a huge freaking shortage, but it's getting lower. Okay, let's also increase our army defense. Okay, we're gaining quite a bit of political power, so it's okay that um, what's it called? It's okay that we're spending some political power on these advisors, you know. 
Okay. So we've got to do this, then we're going to annex the Great Khans, and then we will be able to gain the War Goal versus the Dam Busters. I'm really, like, really uneasy about this. I'm really hoping that we can actually pull this through. Um, okay, 14 divisions, and here we go. It's going to be in five days. Okay, here we go. Just got to wait for it. Also, we need some more uh, uh, resources. More fuel. And let's sacrifice two factories for that, and we need three factories for that. Okay, only four factories working on this, guys. We we really need to up our game on on factories here. Okay, and let's. This war is probably going to be over really fast, but we need to start doing this. Probably the tops. Should we go with the tops and then go with the chairman eventually? Because we're gonna we're gonna have to eventually do this stuff, right? But I also really need to get let's just let's let's get the war goal versus the dam busters because there's they're really not powerful at all. So let's do this and then we can declare war. And then alright, then just execute. Execute them. Boom. Why are they what are they doing? Come on, let's go. Execute. I had to click that. I don't really know why I had to do that, but maybe you had to like delete the army order and then it would go with the army group order. Which is fine. Okay, so they're fighting. This is going to be really easy, guys. There's, there's there's no no competition at all. Okay, so now we finally have enough military factories. Look at this. Free military factories. We have 17. So now we can start producing infantry equipment. Um, but I think what I'm going to... Well, should I produce anti-tank rifles? I think I'm going to produce anti-tank rifles. Okay. Um, let's just go with just this all right and we do need some resources here we might we might need resources i don't know we can get an extra factory back from the brotherhood of steel okay that's fine and dude we're crushing it we are crushing it they're just they don't even stand a chance okay logging camps is finished and also we're going to take all states from them boom take it take them and they're gone Oh, we got resistance to occupation. That's fine. Um, okay, so we finished the logging camps. We, can, we can't we can do the primitive workshops yet. We could do traditional instruction, which is going to help with our industry. It's a little bit of a head, it's a little bit ahead of time, but I don't really care. So, I <laughs> Okay, so now it's assigning 14 divisions to this front line. All right, so with that... I think I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to end the gameplay right here. But I want to thank everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more, please leave a like and subscribe. And then also click the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Thank you so much once again for watching. And I will see you next time.